the way we are moving forward is going to be an encouragement to each one of the people. In President, sir, in continuation to your guidance, we are very happy that this is the fifth hackathon. That means we have already completed 40 excellent speakers who have been the panelists on different subjects in AI. And these all happen to be mostly chartered accountants. You will be happy to know the videos which are being posted on different platforms by various uh, panelists is actually been appreciated across the length and breadth of the country. Good evening, esteemed colleagues, distinguished guests, and all the brilliant minds gathered here today evening. It is both an honor and privilege to welcome you to AI Hackathon 5, an event that truly epitomizes the pioneering spirit and intellectual curiosity of our profession. Today we gather to celebrate the remarkable intersection of two powerful forces, artificial intelligence and finance. Let's start with a round of applause to our very esteemed president, C.A. Ranjit Tagarwal, and my fellow council colleagues, C.A. Dayanila Sharma and C.A. Omesh Sharma, their, will, their visionary leadership and unwavering support continues to be the backbone of our vibrant society and community of chartered accountants. Let me compliment the this committee leadership. Uh, issued had first time started hackathon. Many people are don't know what is hackathon. So this committee has started the word hackathon under leadership of Dayaliwa Sarma and Umesh Sarma. And this is the fifth one. And thank you very much for making this entire terminology so popular amongst the masses of our CA fraternity. And uh, wherever I am also going, people are interested to join this AI uh, committee of the ICI. So thank you, Raj, uh, Ranjit sir. And thank you, Nanda sir. And uh, Ranjit sir, your vision of AI in ICI, it's the first time you have dreamed and we are following that dream under chairmanship of Daya Neva sir. So thank you, sir. And uh, let's wish that all your dreams get true in this AI in ICI in year 2020-24. Thank you, sir. Let's welcome our first panelist. So the first panelist for the day is Ajay Gumbar, a chartered accountant with the knowledge of AI. So over to you, Ajay ji. Uh, thank you, uh, Omiji, and thank you, uh, the esteemed uh, dignitaries. Uh, I'll straight away jump to the uh, AI use case I have. Let me share my screen first. So I have 10 minutes. I'll be quick. Uh, so I request everyone to be, be along with me. Uh, is my screen visible, Omesh ji? Yes. All right. So I the, the use case I have for AI is for physical verification of assets. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so this is a use case where uh, uh, you know a client is being audited or physically verified for multiple locations, and uh, the physical verification is conducted on the same day. Suppose there is a there is this this particular situation where uh, the the audit is conducted at the same time and same date, and uh, various uh, associates of the chartered accountant visit to the multiple location of the client and data is obtained, uh, collated and consolidated report is generated uh, after the physical verification is done. Now, if the oddity at the branch is not available, is absent, then uh, immediately one action is required. Now, in this situation, uh, uh, what is the traditional way to do it? The auditors will go and uh, you know do the audit, uh, audit or say physical verification and get the Excel data in Excel share it over mail and then thereafter uh, the ho will uh, collate all the data manually after the physical verification all the communication will be done over the phone however in our case uh, we have used uh, the power of uh, microsoft 365 to ease out uh, the things to create efficiency first of all and to uh, generate the communication also uh, through uh, power of uh, microsoft 365 so there are three apps which we'll be using, MS Forms, 
power of automate and copilot i will directly jump on to the uh, the screen of uh, microsoft 365 here it is so this is the uh, the uh, home screen of microsoft 365 it has number of apps over here so we'll be using power automate and forms microsoft form it is not av available here but it can be searched from here here it is right so once you will click on the form uh, it will be this screen will be will be visible uh, you can create a form through uh, uh, standardized templates uh, which is available here. However, we'll be creating a new form. Uh, these forms are basically used for surveys and uh, feedbacks. However, this is, you know, the, the case study which we have, this is an innovative way to uh, solve our problem. So once you will create a new form, this screen visit will be visible. I have created a few questions on the form. Uh, uh, dummy questions, it's a dummy limited physical verification. Then this is the, the form name. And this is the summary of uh, what is the form all about. Then we can create questions out of it. The answer could be in, in multiple choices, uh, text, or it may be the answer may be in ratings. The answer may be in date, ranking, net promotion score, and section. Section is something which we have also, also used in our case. So I'll uh, move on. So date of audit, date of name of auditor, and so on and so forth. We can create a form. So I'll, uh, I have already created the form uh, by now uh, to save time. So we can just uh, jump in onto that. So this is the dummy company private limited. This is the narration. I've created a section of primary details. The details are as such uh, date of audit. Uh, the answer will be in only date, name of the auditor. I mean, the person who is going there, he will put his name, the location ID of the branch, it must be a number because it is an ID, which is, you know, uh, 104, 110, whatever number he will put. So restriction is on the number. Now, uh, this is the fourth question, whether oddity is available on work site. The answer will be either in yes or no. Now, this is an important question. I will discuss it uh, uh, later part of the, of the discussion. Section two would be uh, admin department asset. Now, we have categorized that in uh, different departments. Number of chairs, the answer will be numbers. Number of cabinets, the answer will be numbers. The second department would be the section three, IT department, number of laptops, number of desktops, and so on. Remarks also they can put. Now, once the form is created, it will look like this. So this is uh, the uh, desktop version, which will be available to the, to the auditor at the site location. And the mobile, the mobile uh, view would be like this. Right. So uh, just a moment. Yeah. So uh, this will be the, once he will be completing the responses, the responses will be submitted to the HO and it will be, a dashboard will be created immediately. It will be a real time the moment he will be su submitting the responses. The dashboard will be created like this. And an Excel also will be created here immediately real time. So this, this will look, look like this. So data collection thing is already done. Uh, yeah, just a moment. The data collection thing is done. Now we'll go to the uh, the second point where we want to uh, create a response also if the person is not available, which was question number four, if the oddity is not there, then uh, somebody, the, the person who is going there should respond uh, no and uh, notification should be immediately be available to the auditor uh, auditor at HO so that the uh, uh, appropriate action can be taken. So for that, we are using Power Automate. This is a very powerful tool of MS365, uh, 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 which is condition-based, uh, and it also integrates with Microsoft Forms. So this is the beauty of Microsoft uh, 365, that it, it integrates all its, all its uh, applications. So what we have done is, when the response is submitted, so this is we we have created this this condition. There is a condition. There are three four condition uh, three four steps into it. The con first condition is to select the form. The second condition is uh, se second st stage is to uh, you know identify the question. The the fourth question is identified over here that this is the the question, and the condition is over here that if the answer is equal to no. 
then if the answer is true then send me a mobile notification and then the notification will would look like oddity not available branch id now again this is a id this is a dynamic field so the notification will be along with the id itself so that i may be we will be identifying which branch uh, or on which branch the oddity is not available in case uh, the answer to it is yes he is available then there is no notification being required because that that should not bother me and the auditor should continue with the uh, audit and uh, submit the response so this is this is the case study so it's it solves two problems one is uh, coalition of data real time and the second is identification and of, uh, of any person who is not available in location which is not available at that for the purpose of audit now coming back to the uh, slide attention so Last this is these are more minutes. few cases where we can use it account balance confirmation through form so vendor communication or uh, uh, customer account balance communication that can also be the gst mismatch communication can be done expense reimbursement so all these can be done with the combination of microsoft form uh, uh, and automate uh, power automate so this is from my side thank you very much i hope i justify with the time Yes, thank you, Ajay ji. And it was a very nice representation. You have covered a practical use case of physical verification. Our chartered accountants do this activity on their regular audits. And you have taken through the physical verification use case, then to the Google form, then how to create a form. That was a very useful thing. Then even you have shown that you can use your mobile also, as well as your laptop. That is very important. And then to the Excel, and to the most important thing is the power automate so power automate will use the artificial intelligence and answer the queries which whichever are there so it was one of the good use cases that you have represented uh daya sir do you want to comment yes uh, Umesh bhai, i think uh, Ajay, uh, one point which i would like to compliment you is basically you made the life simple of people People, when they talk about automation or they talk about AI or might be any other tool in the entire process, generally people feel that we need to buy certain tools from somewhere and the cost is going to be very high. This example, friends, is actually a message to you all people that what are the tools which are available on our hand, on our mobile device itself? That actually matters. Rightly put by you, Umesh Bhai. The point is how effectively you are able to use the current or available tools in the right form. One is an external tool which we need to buy and use. Two, which is the uh, most important part, which are those tools which are available around us. That is something which you all have to actually understand and that has been done well. Thank you very much, Ajay, for making it. Thank you, Mishbhai. Over to you next.